everyone welcome to our second video how to graph polar equations today on uh, this video we're going to be talking about lemasins they're of the form r equals a plus or minus b sine theta or r equals a plus or minus b cosine theta and we got to remember that a and b are both greater than zero i'm going to try to do a side by side video the first time so pretty excited about this so let's look at our first example our only example of this video so number one here example graph one plus two cosine theta, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, and the first thing you wanna do, if you can, is test for symmetry. So let's try um, polar axis symmetry, okay? So that's x-axis symmetry. So again, so let's think about replace, so we're gonna replace theta with negative theta, okay? That's how we test for the symmetry. So you write your equation, r equals 1 plus 2 cosine of theta. So when you switch that, it becomes 1 plus 2 cosine of, not theta, but negative theta. So I'm going to go ahead and put negative theta in here. Now, cosine theta is an even function. So cosine theta equals cosine of negative theta. Oops. Those are the same thing. So my equation does not change. And that's important because when I graph this, I can not have to do a, such a large table and have to plot all these extra additional points. So what I want to do now is, now that I know this has its, its, its polar axis symmetry, so polar axis symmetry, I only have to graph a certain amount of points and then I can grab the rest of them. Okay, so let's look at plotting some of these points. Now remember, we get to pick theta, and the most common thing to do is do multiples of pi over 6. So we're going to have r equals 1 plus 2 cosine theta. So I start at 0, okay? So then I have 1, uh, well, r equals 1 plus 2 times cosine of 0, which equals 1 plus 2 times cosine of 1, right? Or excuse me, 1. So 2 times 1. Cosine of 0 degrees is 1. So this gives us 3. Okay? So now here's the fun part of this. So I can plot r equals, we'll go over here, slide it over a little bit, 3 comma 0. So let's look at that. Where's 3 comma 0? So I go over 1, 2, 3, and it's right here. There is 3 comma 0. Now I can go ahead and try my other point. I can go ahead and put pi over 6 in. And so r is going to equal 1 plus 2 times cosine of pi over 6, which equals 1 plus 2 cosine of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2, and that's approximately 2.73. Okay, so this one's a little more tricky. So we know that the angle is pi over 6. That's 30 degrees. Okay, so when we plot this, we're going to go 2 over. Here's 2 and a half. 3 is a little bit before that, about 30 degrees, maybe right there. That's going to be an estimate. Okay, it's pretty close. It doesn't have to be perfect. So then I can try pi over 3. And that is the same thing, same substitution. You're going to have r equals 1 plus 2 times 1 half, right? The cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. So this is just going to give us 2. And so I have r equals 2 and pi over 3. So I go out r, 1, 2, pi over 3 is 60 degrees. I'm right here, 2 and 60 degrees. Well, my next point is pi over 2. So I'm over here, and I write pi over 2. And I know that r is going to equal 1 plus 2 times pi, uh, cosine of pi over 2, which is 0. So this is equal to 1. Your r value is 1. So now I have 1 and pi over 2, which is right here. Next is 2 pi over 3. So I'm going to go ahead and do 2 pi over 3. Okay, and r is equal to 1 plus 2 times, well, if pi over 3 is 1 half on the unit circle, if it's going to be in the second quadrant, your cosine is negative, this would be negative 1 half.
cosine of 2 pi over 3 is negative 1 half. So I get 0. Okay, and that's pretty good. And so we have 0 on the radius. And since we're not going anywhere, it's going to be right at the pole, right there in the middle. Now, let's look at one more of these points. Let's look at, we'll actually do the last two here. We're going to have to move this sheet up. We're going to have 5 pi over 6. And so when we do r equals 1 plus 2 times the cosine of pi over 6, cosine of 5 pi over 6 is negative root 3 over 2. Okay? And we get 1 minus root 3, which is approximately negative 0 0.73. So not quite 1. Okay? So now this one, if you think about it, if we went out to 5 pi over 6, there it is right here. Here is 1, but we got to go negative. So we got to go back here to about here, okay? There is negative 0.73, 5 pi over 6, okay? And let's go ahead and put pi in there. We know that the cosine of pi is negative 1, so negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, okay? So I'm going to plot negative 1 and pi. So watch, I go out here, here's pi, so I go 1 and pi, negative 1 is right there. Now, these values are really going to be symmetric. So the idea here is I can plot these points down here. So here was 2 and 60 degrees. So I can go down here and plot its symmetric point right here. Okay. And this point here, negative, or it's a 2.73. We can go down to... 30 degrees, which is going to be right about here. And so now when we plot this, I've got enough now. It's going to look, we'll change colors here, it's going to look like this. We're going to go around okay, we're going to come back through the pole, down and around. It's not a perfect graph, but that's the general graph of this lemison. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. We'll see you next time.